Hi, um, it's the same day as when I recorded this video, so um, ignore the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt. I, I do have more than one shirt, I promise. Hey losers! Today I want to talk about gender envy, which is like basically when you see something and you're like, oh my god, I want to be that like so bad. Today specifically though, I want to talk about the things that give me gender envy because I like to talk about myself. Huge sweaters. I don't know what it is about like wearing a massive like fuck you sweater, but it's just so like comfy. You can wear them for any occasion, unless you're going to like a restaurant. Actually, you can't wear them for like most occasions, but I don't know. There's just something so like comforting and like masculine. It's so cool. Um, messy hair. I love having messy hair. I mean, it is such a ball ache sometimes. I can't see, I can barely see right now. I have like, I don't know, I'll try and like draw over the video of how it looks for me right now, but there are little strands all over like constrain my view. But I don't know, like, it just looks so cool to have like no eyes. I don't know, I would love to look like this one character from Fraggle Rock. I just, I feel like he's living experience that I want. He just looks so cool. <laughs> Don't tell me he wasn't your first gay awakening, because I refuse to believe that. There is something in this man that is addictive as crack. I don't know why, like when I first saw him for the first time, my brain chemistry just like, but oh my God, if I ever see that crusty new actor, Charlie Wright, you are no friend of mine. Firstly, why did they make a new film and replace all the actors? The initial casting was perfect. They fumbled so hard with him. Okay, so this one's kind of niche, but James from Goosebumps. I don't know if you've seen the new Goosebumps series, I don't think anyone has. Miles McKenna plays this character called James and he's just such like pure gender. Like I, I just, I want to be him so bad. It's everything about him. It's like the way he acts and like his hair. Oh my God, his hair, his hair looks so cool. It's like, it just is. And oh, there's this one scene where he has this like cat costume. It's like a Halloween party. I wish I owned that, I need that in my wardrobe. Also, he just has this like huge pickup truck. I'm so jealous of him. <laughs> just, oh my god. Firstly, horror icons. Like, have you even seen these two? There is no chance they're straight. There is not a singular straight bone in their body. Like, if they weren't canonly queer, they've got to be like, they've got to have been gay. They could not have been straight. Um, hi, I'm like editing this right now and I just found this article. Um, I'll link it below, but like, they're like Loki okay. <laughs> Stu in particular, I don't know what it is about him. I don't know if it's like the clothes he wears or like, does he do something? I don't know, but it's just, I'm so obsessed. Just, I aspire to be this gay of another human being. This is just like off the records kind of gay. I don't know how they did it, but I'm a fan and I'm very happy they did. Okay, this one's kind of, um, a bit more niche, but um, like pretty much any man from any MTV animated series. And like, I know that's really broad and there's a lot of different types of men, but I'm thinking like exclusively this genre. <laughs> Just like Trent from Daria. Oh my God. Like, I wish, like I wish. And oh my God, literally anyone from downtown, not even just the guys, like that goth chick was like, like I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I really like that. I don't know why I do so much. There's just something about them. Oh my god, I didn't put on my back necklace. Wait, I didn't put any jewellery on for this video. And I'm so upset. But look at this little guy. <laughs> look at him. He's so cute. I love him so much. I love them. I don't know what it is about them. It might just be like the shape. Because they're so angular, but they're also kind of curved. Not like a close up of a bat, but like the silhouette you see when they're like flying around in the sky in cartoons and shit. It's just like, I wish that was me. Also, I guess it's like their association with vampires. Like, I would love to be a vampire. Oh, I should have added them on. Um, Nadja and Lazlo from what we do in the shadows. I want to be them so bad. Oh my god, like, bats are so cool. I mean, I know they like can't see. Which is kind of like an owl. I shouldn't say that. I mean, I know they can't see, which wouldn't be optimal because I like seeing things, but they're really cool. I really like them. Also, they're so cute. Like, have you seen pictures of like baby bats? Like, 
I love them. I love them so much. My base. I love my base so much. Wait, let me show you my base. I was originally going to film at my desk and then I decided to film behind my guitar because I thought it looked cooler. But you can't even see them because I'm sitting in the way. But look at my base. I love it so much. I know that's like, I'm not adding anything to the conversation. Like, I'm, I'm not adding anything to my dialogue here by showing you my bass, but I just, I love playing it so much. And I think just like, honestly, I think it's just like the deep notes. Like, I don't know, they feel so like sexy and powerful, but it's so nice to like play them. And like, I guess it's like the control you have. I just think the bass in general is such a powerful instrument. And I'm so sad that it gets like overshadowed in so many songs. It's like, I can play it even without an amp and I can still like, it's just such like a strong, and sexy instrument. I don't want to fuck the bass. I'm not. For, oh, my, oh my god, also like 70s bass lines. It hits so hard. I don't know how they did it. Um, maybe they actually got lessons, which I didn't, but um, I love it so much. Okay, my last one's kind of controversial. Um, but Weezer, I, I don't know. There's something about listening to Weezer, especially some of their like earlier stuff that just like, I don't know. <laughs> it feels very like, um, I don't know how to describe it other than older brother core. Like listening to Weezer makes me feel like someone's moody older brother, which is false. I am in fact someone's moody younger brother. Favorite song is Falling With You though. It slaps so hard. Yeah, okay. That's all I have for today. Um, I don't really plan very well for this video. <laughs> But I hope you liked it. What gives you gender envy? Tell me in the comments, please. I'm I'm begging. I want to know so bad. Um, maybe I'll do a part two if I can think of any other things. But um, yeah, this was really fun. It was really fun, like documenting everything. I love making little powerpoints. But okay. Um, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye. I think my blood's on me. It can't stop.